Hi, welcome to this week's Engineering at Home Challenge. This week I'm going to talk you through how to build a solar tower. So we're going to harness some of the sun's heat to turn a turbine. Don't forget to check out some of the other challenges on this channel. Let us know how you're getting on over on Twitter, but let's get started. What you're going to need for this project is some black card, some blue tack, a wooden skewer, a needle or a pin, make sure you're very careful with this, some more card, some scissors and some tape. Make sure scissors are used with adult supervision. The first step is to make the main tower. So what you're going to do is take your piece of black card and roll it into a cone. You want it to have an opening at the top of about 5 centimetres. You're then just going to tape it together so it stays like this. The tower needs to be freestanding, so just trim along the bottom so you've got a flat edge and make sure it stands up by itself. Now it's time to cut air vents into the bottom of the tower. As you can see, the top one's already done, so on the opposite side, make sure they are opposite each other. Cut a 2x5 rectangle out. Now tape the needle to the top of your skewer. Be careful while doing this, make sure you ask for your parents' help if you need it. This is one of two ways I'm going to show you to build a propeller. So this is going to be a pinwheel. As you can see I'm drawing out a square, mine is 15 centimetres by 15 centimetres. You're then going to cut that square out and draw lines from corner to the opposite corner. Now cut along those lines, leaving a few centimetres gap towards the middle. Now what you're going to do is fold in one corner of the side and tape it into the middle. You're then going to repeat this for alternating corners around the whole square. So as you can see, one corner's folded in, the next one's left alone, and then you fold in the one after. When all of your corners are folded into the middle and have been taped down, you have now made a pinwheel. Now on to the second way to build a propeller. I'm drawing round a circular object, so I'm using a roll of tape, and inside of it I have a smaller circular object, so I've just used a two pence coin. You want to make sure that the coin is right in the centre to make sure that this propeller is balanced. You're then going to need to cut out round that bigger circle outline. Now you want to divide the outer ring into quarters. Then place another line about a centimetre clockwise from the original ones. Then place another line about a centimetre clockwise again. If you want to differentiate you can make this one dotted as you're not going to cut this one, you're going to fold along it. This is the basic template, so all the shaded areas are what you're going to cut out completely and the dash line is where you're going to fold along. As you can see here, I'm just making a little slit along the inner ring along to the dotted line to make it easier for that bit of the card to fold. You're then going to fold up to the dotted line on each of your wings and bend the piece back to about a 45 degree angle. Now 
now it's time to set up your tower. So as you can see, I placed the wooden skewer in the blue tack so it can stand freely. You're then just going to place your cone over it, making sure it isn't leaning against it at all. And then place your propeller on top of the needle. As you can see, there's about five centimeter clearance at the top of the tower to allow the air to flow upwards. You can see the pinwheel moving, which is a really good sign. It shows our solar tower's working. So let's explore why it works in the next clip. So this is a time lapse and it's very sped up, but what we can see happening is when the sun is shining on the solar tower, the propeller at the top starts moving. This is because the energy from the sun is heating up the air inside the black card due to the greenhouse effect. The hot air then rises due to convection, which causes the propeller at the top to move. If you'd like to learn more about these concepts, there'll be links on the written instructions to take you to informative videos about them. So that's the end of my bit for this week. Don't forget to take pictures, videos, and send them in to us. We love to see what you're going up to. If you do want to have a challenge, maybe think about other materials you can make your tower out of. They just have to absorb heat. Maybe design some different propellers. I'm sure you can come up with some really great ideas. You could also measure the propeller, measure the temperature. There's a lot of different things around this challenge. Okay, but make sure you send us your pictures and videos because we do really want to see what you're doing.